arty lad who seems to like this kind of quilting, these larger stitches, and uh, says that the quilt that he's been working on, uh, uh, he's going to use this style of quilting on his. I don't know where he's going to get Sachiko thread, but I think he lives in England. He, I got a comment from him when I was working on a quilt about a year ago. It's not the last quilt. It's not a nine patch stretch. It was uh, the Bali, what I called the Bali quilt. And he said that, um, asked me if I'd ever been really depressed, some kind of a depression I couldn't get out of. And so I answered that. And then my suggestion after that was, well, I knew how he could probably get out of a depression if, that, if he had that. Why didn't he make a quilt? <laughs> and lo and behold, he did. He started a quilt. And he started showing it. And it was a tremendous undertaking, a very complicated quilt and uh, of his own design, and he's still working on it. <laughs> uh, he says he thinks he might have it done by Christmas. But the fact that, um, that he stuck with it, and uh, I'm, I'm just hoping, Artie Lad, if you're watching this, um, can you post a picture of it here or post something of it as a comment uh, on one of these? I'd like people to see it. Several of you have uh, uh, started quilting. Uh, one person is making a quilt out of um, old you, uh, s uh, team sports uniforms. That could be that could be very interesting. Um, another woman is making a quilt for her son, who is going away to school. I assume he's probably you know starting college or something, and she's making a quilt for him for a surprise. So, but I haven't seen any pictures of that either. What I don't like about YouTube is that you can't post photos here. At least I don't know how, and, and uh, because it would be nice if those of you who don't make videos could at least attach uh, photos of your work here so that we could um, see. There's one woman who has. Uh, sent me a lot of emails. She's all very enthusiastic, very enthusiastic about my work. And uh, so she did, I did find a way to see a video. I looked her, looked her up and uh, she has made 79 videos and she looks like she's in her 30s. Uh, excuse me, 79 quilts. And so I've, I've, I've seen now some of the quilts. I don't know what she does with them all. Maybe give them to charities or something. But uh, she's very prolific. And this video of her working on her quilt is just very, very impressive. I've never seen anything like it. And... I was really hoping that she would um, attach it, or at least put the URL address here uh, on, on my work so the rest of you could see it. You just would be amazed. I don't think anybody that was watching this has seen anything like the way she's quilting. First of all, she's uh, lap, what they call lap quilting. She doesn't have a frame. And she does the whole quilt by hand. She says that 
a sewing machine scare her. So she quilts all by hand. The pieces are big. She's, I haven't seen quilting per se, but I see her sewing them all together. Maybe she's sewing them onto a larger piece. They're big. They're very, very puffy. And she's, she does them like she's sitting on a bed or something with her knees up. So she's, she is the, the quilting frame, actually. She's her own quilting frame. So, um, but I don't want to just put, put the address up here until she tells me it's okay. And I haven't heard, as soon as I suggested she do that, I never heard from her again. So, we'll see. Vital finds uh, comments on the way the stitching makes a difference. Yeah, it, it adds a dimension. So you start getting shadows and more depth to it. Say before, before any quilting, everything is pretty flat. But uh, after the quilting, uh, there's another texture.